in this video episode I will show you these islands by hiking on the water. We will see puffins, we will visit a music festival and we will see the islands from above from a helicopter. Are you ready? Then put your wind and rain jackets on and we're ready to go. The Faroe Islands are an archipelago consisting of 18 major islands between the Norwegian Sea and the North Atlantic, about halfway between Norway and Iceland. They are an autonomous self-governing country within the Kingdom of Denmark. The islands are rugged and rocky, with some low peaks, small lakes, rivers and waterfalls. The coasts are mostly cliffs, altogether making it a true paradise for landscape photographers and outdoor lovers. For this road trip adventure, I got invited by Visit Faroe Islands together with fellow travel blogger Amanda Williams to experience the diverse islands on our own terms, starting, of course, with a picturesque hike. So I just arrived in the Faroe Islands and it's about time to go on the first hike. Right after arrival, what are we about to do? We're going to the top of Tralalipa, which means the Slave's Peak. Oh, okay, <laughs> you're fine. Okay, <laughs> so let's do that. Now we're in the capital and here we are staying like locals. We're staying in a little brown house. Chocolate. Oh, beer too. To get to know the Faroese culture, of course, we also need to eat typical Faroese and we're here in the beautiful home of Anna and Olli, who will now serve us some traditional Faroese food and, of course, drinks. And so we started in a Faroese way by having a welcome schnapps. So Olli just said, when we have uh, the welcome schnapps, we share the same glass and I should drink as much as I want. I'm not sure if that is a good idea. <laughs> mm, that's enough, I think. Okay. <laughs> It's summer on the Faroe Islands and we're about to go kayaking with Hans who's preparing our stuff right now. We get some dry suits and then we're off. Rowing is a lot of fun like along this coast here, especially because we don't have strong winds and currents. So it's very relaxing to slide along the coast and see these rocks here and the landscape around. Little villages over there. Really nice. Road trip! So we stopped in the north of the main island at a place called Tjornovik and from here we can see the two trolls over there. We arrived at Jörg, it's now time to eat something and look at the view. They seem to have their own table mountain view here. Pretty. It's 
If you have seen one image of the Faroe Islands, then it's probably this, this waterfall here. It's called the Mulla Fossur, but it's uh, better known for the village which is up there, which is called Gassadalur. So this is a very, very picturesque spot, very close to the airport actually. So it's like one of those things you can do fast when you arrive. Because we want to see Puffins today, we're going to Mikinis, starting from Silvergur, and it looks promising the weather so far. This is Mikinis. It's only 12 people who live here all year round and we will be starting our tour now we're going up there on the edge walking along the edge this is where you see the puffins so let's say hi <laughs> so here you can actually see where these puffins live it's like little puffin holes here So after a bit of walking, we're closer to the famous lighthouse here. I arrived at the other side of the island, at the lighthouse, and from here you have an incredible view of Amuchinus. It's the first time that I experienced the true Faroese weather and I'm here with a true legend, Paul. And we're going hiking today. What are we doing? Yeah, now we are staying, staying in Vitaria and now we are going up to Wittingadaler. It's a nice morning activity, people, and we don't mind the rain. We will stay warm. <laughs> So just that you know who Paul actually is, he is a true legend here on the Faroe Islands. He climbed all mountains in this country. So what was your longest streak? My longest streak was in Sutere for one year ago. That was uh, 123 kilometers in 33 hours, or oh, uh, 6,000 high meters. Wow. And we are just only taking on like a little bit more than 800 meters today. So that should be uh, easily doable for you, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 841. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> so we continue to any back and the clouds cleared. Oh, funny side story. When we arrived here at this mountain, we found two people here who are actually waiting for their friends to climb up because they're recording a movie. And they are now coming up. It's like three people who climbed um, the cliff here, which is like one of the highest in Europe. Summertime, festival time, also in the Faroe Islands and especially in the town of Goethe where I'm about to witness the 16th edition of the G Festival. The special thing about this festival is not only its unique location by the beach with sauna and hot tubs, it's especially its coziness. And more than that, the fact that musicians and guests like me get the chance to stay with locals Welcome to Goethe. for the entire time of the festival. As we are in the Faroe Islands, of course our family also have sheep. They are over here. So before we hike up that mountain now, of course we need to say hi to the sheep. Woo! As I'm staying
staying here with Hutler and he's working in the fish factory. They do this dried fish. Of course, I also need to try it. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Salty yeah. and fishy. Yeah. So this is the G Festival ground, but we, before we hit that, later on today, we got invited to go sailing with our hosts because they have a boat and they said like, hey, do you want to see it from the water? And we're like, okay. <laughs> You know, there's like one thing the Faroe Islands are really famous for and this is fishing and salmon farming. So we're right next to a salmon farm here. Food adventures are continuing. Yeah. So we have salmon here first, super tasty, and then there's this really special fermented, fermented meat. Yeah. Oh, it's a really yeah. strong smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to try it. Mm. Fermented meat. You can also put a little pepper on. You know you are on a festival in the Faroe Islands when you have hot tubs right by the beach and people are going straight into the cold water here and right next to that is the stage. Isn't that cool? You can just sit in a hot tub over there and watch the artists. Seeing the Faroe Islands from the ground is pretty nice, but it's even nicer when you get up into the air. So I'm now taking a helicopter flight. And that's it from the Faroe Islands. If you want to visit these beautiful islands as well, make sure to check out my related travel guide. And as always, if you like this video, comment, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for new travel videos every Thursday. See you soon.